All right, well, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Zilchi. Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. In today's video, we will be taking a look at probably the best combination in the game right now for Sung Jin Woo in terms of the weapons. I know I said it about the scythe and the plum, uh, the plum sword, but that was because I had both of them at level five, right? If I had this moon shadow for me at level five, I think this probably would be the best, but um, I'm gonna get it there eventually. Uh, I'm probably gonna title this video in some clickbait fashion to have it as the best uh, combination in the game and it, it's not wrong it is actually in my opinion the best opinion uh, not the best opinion the best um, combination in the game again for me it's just the scythe in this because I have the scythe at five star so if you guys have this combination of both of these weapons definitely use it it's very good uh, very fun to use they're both very fast weapons and you'll see in the video so if you guys do enjoy this hit that like button comment share subscribe let's just hop straight into it all right so here we are over at the moon shadow again i did do a lot of like in the last video i used the moon shadow so you guys already know what the moon shadow does we're going to go over it again one more time for the people that are new to the channel and don't have this blade and haven't seen anything with the daggers or anything like that um again you guys see that i don't have any uh dupes in it so my precision on it is just non-existent and my precision is actually at 84 percent on my sung jinbu but you know what that shouldn't be an issue uh we're gonna fight igris and the bear again and see how we do with it but let's take a look at the moon shadow uh when moon glow shining in the dark is used it amplifies it applies the full moon effect to targets on the moon uh, when the last attack of moon, gl moon glow shining in the dark hits, it slows down time for three seconds and applies one instance of lunar eclipse to the target per instance of full moon. Duration infinite stacks up to one time. Increases damage taken by 10%, increases the user's dark damage by 10%. I actually ended up pulling uh, a nice artifact for Sanji Wu, which also increases our dark damage. So this should actually do a little bit more damage than the last video. So that is pretty exciting to see. Um, the what is really good about this as well is the fact that it slows down time for three seconds so you can do whatever you want in that three seconds you do as much damage as you want you can stop the boss in like mid animation even though you also do that with your shadow step but that's it. this is actually three seconds so it's top tier okay it's basically six seconds right there i don't know how long shadow steps last for but i'm assuming it's around six seconds with this right so yeah that's that for the moon shadow let's take a look at the plum sword I have all the stars so we can take a look so after plum flower swift flight is used the user applies the plum flower sword effect after success successfully performing a dash followed by plum flower uh, swift flight they apply the full bloom effect i actually finally figured out what the full bloom effect was like i figured out how to actually do it like apparently i was doing it wrong in the um in my other videos and i do apologize shout out to you guys for pointing it out in the comments in a respectful manner i do appreciate it. i did reply to all of you so thank you um oh i'll show you guys in this video exactly what it is for those of you who don't know it's literally just dashing and immediately clicking the uh, full boom or the the skill for it so yeah it's pretty cool so what it does is it increases critical hit damage by 12 percent stacks up to three times I don't know if this is going to work because crit hit damage in the game isn't working properly. So I don't think this is really important. But if it does work, well, uh, it does work. Right? I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I do know that certain instances, the crit hit damage just doesn't work in this game. So I, we probably won't see that. Uh, so full bloom increases the usage speed of plums flower swift flight by 20%. The user's attack is increased by 4%. The user's critical hit rate increases by 4% as well. So that's what's really important here with the full bloom. Uh, lasts for 8 seconds. At 1 star, we get when the user sheaths after using Plum's Flower Swift Flight. Applies the amplifying draw effect. Increase the chance of the user la landing a critical hit on the next attack by 32%. And increases the skill damage by 32% as well for th uh, 3 seconds. At two stars, you get it uh, increased dark damage by 10%. Three stars when the user uses dash, amplify and draw, lasts for five seconds and additionally increases critical hit damage by 32%. So again, I don't know if this is gonna work out in terms of the critical hit damage, but if it does, it does. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, one more time. Uh, at four stars, we get decreased the cooldown of power, plum flower swift flight by 20%. So we get a decrease in time for the skill 
and at the final star we get adds the plum flower effect increase the user's dark damage by five percent applies two instances of plum flower when entering the stage stacks up to five times all right so basically the sword is just crit 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 and then you want to switch to this to do as much damage as possible as well to increase our because we get dark damage increased by 10 percent uh plus what we get with the um the plum flower sword here again the reason why i said my scythe is better than this is because i do have it at five star and it does insane amounts of damage because of what it has uh with all the stars right Incre increase the damage attack by uh 15 percent that's a lot guys listen that is a lot and it takes you do more damage uh the less health that you do have so for me on this account right here i think that is probably the best to go for but if you do have this at higher stars if you have it maxed then i do think this is going to be the best uh for you guys to run in terms of uh the best combo in the game so yeah that's enough talking for me let's just hop straight into the fights the first one will be against igris and the next one will be against the bear so let's just hop straight into it all right guys here we are we're doing hard mode igris here um i forgot to level up my hunters but it shouldn't really matter we'll level them up before we fight the bear but this is what we're rocking uh this is hard mode once again it's pretty tough not really but we just want to showcase uh the moon shadow and the plum our sword here again i said in my last videos but if you guys have other stages you want to see me do these uh showcases on let me know and i'll definitely get it done but yeah let's just hop straight into it okay here it's we go i'm gonna try to show you guys the the full bloom okay One sec. let's get in there I'm gonna say this every time, but I know for a fact Igris hates us. Like, there's no way. There's no way. We fight him every single day at every single second. Like, he's running at us with hatred in his heart. For sure. Okay, I forgot to change the, uh... The thing again. It's alright. My camera angle. So, see, that's full bloom right there. I didn't mean to call that in. Okay, why did I run right into that? I ran right into it. Okay, so on time for three seconds here. That's fine. Try to make your shield as quickly as possible. He's back here. This is the full boot. Did I miss? No, I got that. This here. So on time. That's gonna hit. That is indeed gonna. No, it didn't hit. I'm built different. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's fine. Right here. No. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. Full bloom once more. Can do it. Decrease, use this here. Uh, time. Oh, he's using this thing. Okay, I almost used my ult. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I almost used it. I did indeed almost use it. Do this. Do this here as well. And that's that. And he should be dead here. I'm gonna use full bloom one more time. And then the ult, and that should be GG's right there. GG's. See, this fight is pretty quick. Even though it's on hard mode. It is not GG's. I always call it wrong. Uh, we end it with that, though. There we go. Nice, GG's. We go on to the bear. Alright, so here we go. We're at the bear right here. Um, I'm going to switch up the shadow a little bit. I want to do attack percentage this time instead of the crit percent. And see how we do. Um, I didn't level up my hunters. I completely forgot about it, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and hop straight into it. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, let me know in the comments. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. And let's just hop straight into it. All right, yeah, here we go. Song Jinu himself. Honestly, I should have changed the skill that I have on. And I also forgot to change my camera rotation speed, but that's okay. Why did I just stand there? I, I just stood there for absolutely no reason. Like, <laughs> what was the point? 
Full boom right here. I forgot to. Yeah, sorry. And I didn't even finish. I'm slack. I'm selling right now. I'm indeed selling with the skills on this. But sorry. I really do enjoy this moon shadow. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just wish I had more stars on it. I do wish I had more stars. That's okay. We'll get more stars eventually. Because I do plan to summon some more. Especially on release. Fully. When the game releases fully. Okay, I'm getting cooked by this bear. I'm not gonna lie to you. This bear has had enough of me. This bear has had enough. Okay, can we get the time stop here? Oh, he's in his invincible. He's a top. Well, I am actually terrible with this this match. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't get my uh, my timing down properly. It's alright. It's fine. Full bloom. Use the ult here. Perfect, perfect. Mr. Jinu, Coke. How much damage is that? Do? I need to level up my ult a lot more. A lot more. Sorry, right, though. Okay. Full bloom. Hold on. Also, get the defense down here. Perfect. I also want more stars in this because obviously we reduce our time for the skill. So. Okay, well, he's running away. We're gonna end it with the sword if we can. If we can, I'm not sure. Yeah, we probably would be alright. Alright, well, that's GG's, Mr. Bear. It actually took longer than I thought, I'm gonna be honest. That did indeed take longer than I thought. That's okay. Alright, guys, there you have it. That is the video for the Moon Shadow and the full bloom whatever this sword is called the plum flower so there it is um if you guys did enjoy the video again hit that like button comment share subscribe all that stuff again i don't have that many copies so this is you're not going to see as much damage as you did in like the last video like with these two right here uh for me again these two do the most damage just because i have these maxed out in terms of the stars uh, i could get more copies of them and get them like extra advancement or whatever they call it in here but I think we're good at where we're at right now. Uh, next step is to get this scythe up to level 100. And let me know if you want to see a video of how much stronger it is at level 100. I could do a video like level 80 versus a level 100, right? So that would be pretty cool. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments below. But yeah, that's been it. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.